Welcome to the spoken tutorial on SET, the stream editor. In this tutorial, we will learn usage of SET command. We will do this through some examples. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 12.04 operating system and GNU Bash version 4.2.24. Please note GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended to practice this tutorial. As prerequisites, you should know basics of Linux terminal. For relevant tutorials, please visit our website, which is as shown. Let us start with an introduction to SET. SET is a stream editor. SET finds some pattern of text in a particular location of a file. It performs some display or editing functions. Editing functions like insertion, substitution and deletion in matched text. Let us start with some example. We will see how to print using the set command. I have a file called setdemo.txt in the home directory. Let us view its content. In this file, we have some entries like roll number, name, stream, mark, pass or fail and the stipend amount. Now suppose we want to print the second line of the file. For this, we need to open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Now type set space within single quotes 2p after the single quote space set demo dot txt. Press enter. Here 2 denotes the location which is the second line. P denotes the action which is printing. Now look at the output. It shows the entire file. But see that the second line is printed twice. This is the default behavior of action P. To only print the second line, type set space minus n space within single quotes 2p after the single quotes space set demo dot txt. Press enter. We see only the second line is printed. Minus n stands for silent mode which will suppress all unnecessary output. Then we give the location in the stream that we want to edit or display. We want to select the second line. P indicates the action we want to take that is to print the second line. And setdemo.txt is the name of the file. This is the general syntax of set command. Now let us print the last line of the file. Let me clear the prompt. Now type set space minus n space within single quotes dollar sign p after the single quote space set demo dot txt. Press enter. We see that the last line is printed. Now come back to our text editor. Suppose we want to print the entries from third to sixth. For this, we need to type on the terminal set space minus n space within single quotes 3 comma 6 p after the single quote space set demo dot txt. Press enter. The output is displayed from the third line to the sixth line. Any of the actions can be reversed by using the exclamation mark before the action. Say if we had to print all lines except from 3 to 6. We will type set space minus n space within single quotes 3 comma 6 exclamation mark p after the single quotes space set demo dot txt. Press enter. The output is displayed. Let us switch back to our slide. Line addressing 
and contact addressing. So far, we specified the lines in the file on which the action needs to be taken. This is known as line addressing. Address specified by the line number. This is one way of addressing. Another way of addressing is context addressing. Lines that contain particular context say a particular word. If we want to take actions on lines that contain a particular word, we use context addressing. Regular expressions can be used. Let us see an example. Come back to our text editor. Say we want to print those lines which have the word computer. Come back to our terminal. Now type set space minus n space within single quotes front slash opening square bracket small c capital C closing square bracket o m p u t e r s computer front slash p after the single quote space set demo dot txt press enter we see the line with the word computer is displayed we write pattern within square bracket this is to match any one or both of the characters within square bracket. When we need to match patterns, the pattern needs to be typed between front slashes. We can print it in a file as well using the W option. For this type set space minus N space within single quotes front slash opening square bracket small c capital C Closing square bracket O M P U T E R S computer front slash W space computer underscore student dot txt after the single quote space set demo dot txt press enter. Now all the matching lines would be transferred to the file computer underscore student dot txt. Let us view the content. Type cat space computer underscore student dot txt. Press enter. We see the entry. We can also have patterns that we can write to different files. Let us clear the prompt. Type set space minus n space minus e space within single quotes front slash electronic front slash w space electro dot txt after the single quote space minus e space within the single quotes front slash civil front slash w space civil dot txt after the single quote space set demo dot txt press enter here Minus E is used to combine multiple methods. This would create two files, electro.txt and civil.txt. To see what they contain, type cat space electro.txt. This will display the entries with the word electronic. Let us see the content of civil file. Type cat space civil.txt press enter this will display the entries having the word civil we will see some more set of commands in another tutorial i will use the same program this brings us to the end of this tutorial let us switch back to our slides we will summarize in this tutorial we learned set to print using set line addressing context addressing as an assignment, use the same text file setdemo.txt. Try to print records from 6 to 12th line. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test, 
For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.